Hi, welcome back to my channel. Yeah, so thank you so much for staying tuned. Okay, yeah, so in this lesson, then we're going to um, learn the last bit of the previous lessons. Okay, yeah, so that is the question uh, my fan has asked previously. Yeah, so how can we actually write a sentence if we have a very poor English foundation. Okay, yeah, so that's the question. And um, my answer to this question is that every short sentence starts with a clause and every sentence can be expanded by using phrases and clauses, all right? Um, because if you have already got some idea of the things that we have taught previously, so just like the eight word clauses, and then the sentence constituents, or right, so I hope that you still remember what they are. And then some of the sentence structures here and also the phrases and clauses, then if we have grasped all of these, then it should be very easy for you to, um, to, to write a complex sentence with ease, okay? Um, so I'm going to illustrate a number of examples to you, yeah. So, um, um, so that 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 would be good for you. Okay. So, um, I would try to compose a very short sentence, and then afterwards I insert something in between, and so that will become a more complex sentence. And finally, the last sentence would be a very long sentence like this. Okay. So I will explain it bit by bit. Okay. So the first sentence is like this: John walked away. I would like to say Johnson, not Johnson. John walked away. Okay. Yeah. So um, subject and the verb. Okay. So away would be the, the direction that um, he went to. Okay. So only three words. It's obviously, a, it's a very, very simple sentence. Then how about if we're going to add something to it? So just like this one, John, a friend of mine walked away. Okay, so that is what we call the parenthesis. Okay, yeah, so parenthesis would be um, something that we would like to insert in between to, to give more information, additional information about John. Okay, so just like this one, the, the, word, uh, the word here, the noun here, John. Yeah, so altogether for this one, there are seven words already. So that would be a little bit longer. Then what about this one? John, a friend of mine who just broke up with his girlfriend, Jenny, walked away. So altogether, there are 15 words here. So what did I add is the relative clause here. Okay, can you see who just broke up with his girlfriend, Jenny? Okay, so the who here refers to a friend and a friend actually refers back to John. So you can see that who actually refers to John. Okay, so the same person here. And now you can see that it's more complex. Okay, so we, we call it, strictly speaking, this is what we call the complex sentence already because we have the relative clause here. Okay, and then what about the next one? John, a friend of mine who just broke up with his girlfriend, Jenny, comma, walked away with a breath of sorrow. Okay, a breath of sorrow, that means he is very sad because he just broke up with his girlfriend, Jenny. Okay, yeah, so this one is actually the prepositional phrase with a breath of sorrow because I would like to say something about his attitude or the manner at that moment when he walked away, yeah. So that would be um, the part. So altogether, there are 20 words already. And what about the even more complex one? John, a friend of mine who just broke up with his girlfriend, Jenny, walked away with a breath of sorrow because they have two opposing values on love and relationship. Okay, now you can see that, oh, sorry. You can see the word because, Okay, so this is the conjunction. Okay, this is a conjunction here. To link up the previous clause, John walked away, and the next clause, they have two opposing values on love and relationship. Because I would like to give you some ideas about the reason why they broke up. Okay, answer the question of why. Okay, yeah, so here we have because they have blah, blah, blah. Okay. Now, can you see it's composed of one clause, and well, this is the first clause, and then this one is the second clause. Okay, so it's composed of two clauses together, and also we have the relative clause here. 
Is it complex enough? Yeah, so I think so. Um, so altogether, there are 30 words for this sentence. And so I would say most of the people or most of the writers uh, nowadays, no matter they are writing the newspapers, journals, uh, academic journals, artic uh, journal articles, or some other things, they're using this same, the same strategy to uh, add on something to that very simple sentence. And afterwards, that will become a very big chunk of sentence and what you call chang nan ju. Yeah, so maybe next one, in the next episode, then I'm going to talk about how we can actually divide uh, chang nan ju into different parts. And then so that that will be easier for you to digest. And also that will be easier for you to interpret the meaning. And finally, you can do the translation later on in the public exam. Yeah, so I'll see you next time then. Thank you.